as you're going around the block, you don't see a buckle on the sidewalk and you hit that buckle and you fall down and you skin your knee. If you skinned your knee and you have tissue damage, it's going to get red, it's going to get swollen, it's going to get painful, and it's going to get hot. And that is normal and that is needed. Now, that will heal as long as you just don't keep falling on it. But let's say the next day you're like, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to walk. And then you walk around the block and you, you fall and trip on that same buckle and you hit your knee in the exact same spot and then you re-injure it again. And you continue to do this every day for the next three months. And then you look down at that scab and it is just inflamed, it's seeping, it's infected, it looks ugly. And you decide, you know what, I'm gonna go to the doctor, I'm gonna get this checked out. The doctor looks at that scab on the knee and they run all kinds of tests. They're gonna, we're gonna run a special test for people who have scabs that don't heal on their knee. And they come back after they do $5,000 of testing and they say, Mrs. Jones, um, what you thought is true is that you do in fact have a case of unrelenting chronic knee scabitis. <gasps> and then immediately you say, what do I need to do? Well, we're going to put you on a course of some medications and do this and do this and do this. And there's all these complex solutions. And meanwhile, if you came to me, I would say, why do you keep injuring it? And let's figure that out and, and go from there.